Hi guys, uh, my name is Christine O'Hagan. I um, had the pleasure of meeting Dana Susan when I was um, in special events for the city of Conroe. I uh, was the race director for the turkey trot there and um, also a very slow 5K runner, very slow runner in general, but I love, love, love to run. Um, and I was introduced to her actually by some of the management with the city saying this is someone that's going to come do a race here, so she's going to run this race and maybe you can help her with her race and I was like well sure okay you know I don't have a lot of time but okay you know, so what is your you know what's your race and so she told me a little bit you know about it and about her husband and about you know what they were doing with the race and um of course, I was immediately, as you are, you know, anyone that talks to Dana Susan, you're automatically, you want to do whatever you can do for, for her and for her cause. And um, so I was in it, you know, with both feet at that point. And so was everyone else with the city of Conroe. Um, but, you know, cancer's always been a cause very close to my heart. I also had cancer when I was younger. Um, I, you know, don't remember a whole lot about my treatment other than I got to eat a lot of popsicles whenever I wanted to. My mom was just happy I was eating. Um, and I remember my mom being really, really, really scared. And that was, um, you know, the, the biggest part, my memory of having cancer was just my mom being scared. And so, you know, I would always try to act well for her so she wouldn't be so scared. But I actually had melanoma. Um, it's a little bit different from lymphoma, but you know treatments are, are a lot the same. I ended up going into remission officially when I was 12. Um, spent a lot of time at Ronald McDonald House and um, Texas Children's. Um, ended up getting cancer again when I was 23. Um, it was melanoma in the same spot that I had it before, which they say that hardly ever happens, but um, that was uh, remedied by, you know, simple surgery. And, um, but ever since then, you know, I've been, a lot of us have family members that are affected by cancer. And so, you know, I feel really lucky that, you know, it, it didn't impact me more than it did. I feel like I've had a very normal life um, since then. You know, my mom's very, um, you know, very happy, of course, that I'm still here, thank goodness. And um, so anyway, I'm just really glad to be a part of this and really happy that there are people like uh, Dana Susan and Bill that are, you know, fighting for um, and raising money for research so that, you know, if, if Lord forbid this happens to people in the future, you know, the, the research is changing and there's people that are continuing to fight for um, new clues and, and new solutions to um, something that's very, very sad and, and impacts a lot of people.